Well, I think that a truer statement could not be told. This is Jen Cravasi from Jekyll Bates. And it sounds like I've got frogs in my voice because I've got a really nasty head cold. But I wanted to kind of get through the week in review with you guys. Um, it's been a really busy week and I'm just going to kind of highlight a couple of the pieces that are going out. These are all going out. Um, <clears throat> and uh, please, again, excuse my voice because I really don't have one this week. So apologies, apologies. So just real quick on what's going on. This is the original mud crawl. This is a molting crawl pattern. It's got a little bit of red on the nose. It's got that real good root beer down to pineapple. We're in flavors this week. And then we've got the, the white dots on the back. And a 2.5 square bill. This is a Dinger D7, chromed, very nice. Just a light translucent paint on top of that. This is obviously a thread fin shad pattern. That flush on the throat. We've got a couple of juvenile pike patterns. You can probably call them pickerel patterns as well. With the lacing on the sides and that glitter. This is called a pearlescent paint on top. Got some real subtle browns and oranges because this is the time of the year where all kinds of stuff is happening underwater. It's even got a, a bit of a blue chest on it, that indigo blue. This is a 1.5. This is going to be fantastic. Stained. It's got that good rattle sound. Stained or clear water. Also, one of my favorite patterns really some fun veining on this one a little bit of yellow and black on the bottom with some red over top of that not traditional crawfish eyes but this will trigger strikes this is a holographic olive crawl Let's see if you can see just a shimmer of that holographic foiling underneath and under the water this is going to trigger some pretty decent strikes. You guys can see that through there as it swims through the water. It's going to put off that iridescence. Just a great pattern to have. And green is green is a good color for pretty much anywhere you fish in the country. Wake bait season. Got another Hamilton crawl. These things are flying out. Thank you, Andy Hamilton, for your inspiration. Love these wake baits. Lots of fun to do. We have also got the holographic wiggle warts. This is a blue moon pattern, an original Jekyll bait pattern, and a harvest craw. Not a holographic, but absolutely spectacular anywhere you go in the country. These things have such an erratic swim. These are pressed from pre Rapala wiggle warts, very effective great swimmers and we got a couple of little Johns as well this is the Norfolk the Lake Norfolk pattern in a little John MD the eyes have been changed out these have got the black crawl eyes and also the Mad Hatter when you think of madness and craziness you think of bright red so do the fish this is a great early spring pre-spawn transition, but this is pretty effective, I'd say, three seasons out of the year. Even in the summer, I've caught fish on red. A lot of times with crankbaits, the reaction strike is half of it. Colors are also good triggers. This has got the chrome eye. You can see it's blazing in the camera. Great, great pattern there as well. And let's see, last but not least, some S-cranks. These are going out. This is also in the same pattern as the uh, 2.5s. This is the molting crawl. Just that little hint of red 
and a little bit of red on the back side of it. These are getting ready to get rigged and dressed, and out the door they go. So that's it for right now. Thanks for hanging out with us. I appreciate your time. Sorry I have a cold and my voice is all messed up, but that's the way it goes. It's not going to keep me from getting on the water tomorrow. I'll see you guys. Happy casting.